and lose your balance. After you recover, you look up and see who it is. Okay, who's the mystery character? Who is it? Luna! Who is she? Oh, better question. What is she? I've never seen a pony like her before. She, dude, bro, she's not going to be happy about you bashing into her. And she's probably not going to be even, not even, not exactly happy when you fa she finds out she, you don't know who she is. Citizen of Ponyville, dost thou not know where to direct thy eyes when walking? Oh god, she's going to be speaking like this, so I'm going to have to try and do it. Huh? Thou hast interrupted our moment of silence by bumping into us. How does thee intend to amend this? Apologize, who are you? Don't apologize. Apologize, bro. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump into you. Honest. Thy apology has been accepted. Pray tell, what is thou doing out at such an hour when thine fellows are all inside? Damn this old English crap, man. I was looking at the moon. Yeah, I was actually. Thou was looking at the moon? Hmm. Pray tell, sir. What what dost thou think of the moon? It's nice. I like it a lot. Well, I mean, I, s I see. It just so happens that we too were looking at the moon. Strange how coincidences come by, is it not? Might we know thy name? Oh, I'm Randomizer. I just got here. Ah, tis the one Twilight Sparkle spoke of earlier. She said that thou has lost thy memories. Dost thou remember anything at all? I remember waking up in the forest, then seeing some pony, but after that, it's all blurry. Yeah, who was that? Oh, oh, some pony probably in the guy, person in the vision. But I saw, no, no, it was in the vision. I thought it was, no, I thought it was something I saw when I was waking up. We see, thou has our sympathy for thy trouble. Still, thou hast to have had an interesting experience since waking up. Between waking up in the middle of nowhere, having no clue who I am, then meeting Spike, Twilight, and the others, the others, I can say so. So, what are you doing out here in the in the dark? It's getting late. We were making sure that the moon was in its proper place, and then all of the stars were in their right constellations. After all. Should we sway from our duty, then the night we create shall be f forever dark with no light to guide its creatures in the darkness. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, crap. Oh, that's right. Thou hast lost thy memories, and so thou wouldn't not know about us. <laughs> we are the summoner of the moon. The stars beckon at our will. As we spread our wisdom throughout the land, we are harmony and justice. Our princess of the night... Princess Luna of Equestria. Despite the deafening shouting, your eyes widen as you realize that you are standing in front of one of the two rulers of Equestria. As Luna descends, you quickly bow. Y your Majesty, forgive me, I, I didn't know. Rise, Randomizer. Tis not thy fault for thy misfortune. All is forgiven. You stand up and face the moon princess, who just stares at you. The two of you continue to stare awkwardly at each other for a while until you decide to speak. Why are you here? I should go. What? Yeah, why are you in charge? So if you're in charge of the night, why are you leading the Summer Sun celebration? Our sister, Princess Celestia of the Sun, thought it might be beneficial for us if we have more interaction with our subjects. And so she offered us the position of leading the Summer Sun Celebration in Ponyville this year. You didn't want to do it? Tis not that. It's just what that we're not as famous as our older sister. Nor do we have the charisma that she has. To be honest, we are not sure if we are ready to lead an event we have not taken part in before. Believe me, Luna, you're probably way more popular than Celestia any day. On rulers wise don't worry about it well I'm sure the rest of the citizens of Ponyville are trying their best to help you yes they are most gracious hosts I prefer them to the nobles and Cantalot anyway what's Cantalot like Cantalot is the capital city of Equestria it has stood tall as the home of the royal family for many millennia it has indeed changed since a thousand years ago when I saw it Sounds like an interesting... Wait a minute. A thousand... Oh, God. 
Uh, oh no! How old are you? She's she's gonna flip out now. You've asked her what how old she is. It's, yeah, tis not polite to question a princess about her age. Oh boy, gotta think of something quick. Uh, uh, curious compliment, curious compliment, compliment. I was just surprised. You you look too young and beautiful to be that old. Oh, she bl she blush now. Your compliment seems to have worked as she turns a shade of red. She opens her mouth a few times, but nothing comes out for a while until she finally finds her voice. Um, thank you. Why, I am grateful for your compliment. Phew. <laughs> that was a weird-ass few. Whew. Close one. <coughs> uh, anyway, to answer thy question, we have been around for many ages. That must be tough, living while ponies you know slowly die around you. No pony said that ruling was easy. Wait a minute, what time is it? Twilight's expecting me soon. I'd better hurry. Your Majesty, it was it was nice talking to you, but I'm afraid that I have to go now. Twilight's expecting me. Ah, yes, I understand. It was nice speaking with thee. I would enjoy it much if we could ever get another chance to speak. As would I, Princess. Please, call me Luna. You nod and say goodbye as you head back to Twilight's house. So, people I'm playing end up talking to at the party, Pinky's going to be poem for me. Luna and Rarity. You make it back to Twilight's library. Probably Twilight as well, because I didn't get to speak to her much. But upon arriving, you see that all the lights are out and it's quiet. Did she go out or something? No, Pinky's got a surprise party, bro. You open the door. Hello? Pachink. <clears throat> Surprise! Whoa! You fall to your flank and look around in shock. Your heart nearly bust bursting out of your chest. Every pony cheers and smiles at your reaction. Ha ha ha! That reaction was great. I was worried that you had forgotten about that part that I planned that party that I planned for you. Then I realised I, sh I wouldn't worry because I decided to throw a surprise party. And I it wouldn't be a surprise party if you knew. Sorry but for that, like, Looney Tunes, ha ha ha, before. You just sit there, speechless. So did I surprise you? Hey, hey, yeah. Su surprise is an understatement. I never saw it coming. Well, I did, but the character didn't. Oh, I knew you would love it. I knew it. Uh, it was great. I love it. I guess you really are a part. You are, you are a party pony. Thanks. Pinky, why don't you let him at least get up first? Twilight, your mouth is a bit... It's just a bit weird. I'm just saying. I'm sorry, but I just need to keep saying it because her smile was a bit weird. The drunk face and that, that thing there just, just looks slightly off. Oopsie, silly me. A party can't be celebrated when sitting down unless you have a sitting down party. That's not until two weeks from now. Sitting down party? What the? Never mind. I'm better off not knowing. Twilight helps you as you look around and see every pony partying already. A cool, a cool looking pony with shades starts working working on the DJ mixer as ponies start dancing, eating, and playing games. There's vinyl for you guys. There's vinyl in the demo. Well, I should make sure that everything is going smooth, like ice cream. But what if it's Rocky Road ice cream? Then it's not smooth, it's chunky, just like my favourite peanut butter. Now we have a craving for Rocky Road peanut butter topping ice cream. I'll get some later though, my body's itching to dance. I'll see you two later, have fun. That's a weird, that's a weird ass flavour of ice cream which I'm not probably not going to plan on doing. Oh, before I forget, and before, um, uh, da 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 da, Vartan Chakra. I know that Lyra is in the background. I know Bonbon's in the background. I think Berry Punch is in the background. I'm not sure about the other two. But I know Lyra and Bonbon are there. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I know. I, I just had to say that. Sorry about that. When Pinky has a party, there's no stopping her. I heard from my friends that you made quick, quite an impression on, on them. I'm glad you're all getting along. Yeah, they seem nice. Well, this is your party. I would ha hate to see the guest of honor not having fun because I held you back. Is there anything you would you'd like?